Hello, Veto121 here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII International, and from Waystone 20 here, we're gonna go this way. And we should run into an area with some more... Okay, we're gonna fight some bomb-type enemies. Be nice if Pinello wouldn't get interrupted, you know. To cast Decoy and just cast frickin' Thundaga like she's supposed to. Really just kind of annoying. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, let's keep going. Let's go this way now. And we have some more bomb type enemies, alright. Yeah, that definitely helps. by Mr. Bomb type enemies. Alright, now we're gonna hit this uh, the Sagittarius gate stone here, so yeah, let's do it. And there is a timer! So what we want to do is we want to uh, go this way and try and beat out the timer. And yeah, there isn't a chest in this area, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the enemies. It's pretty straightforward from here. Yeah, sometimes it's better to just skip the monsters, that way you don't run out of time, because if you run out of time, then the gate will close, and then you, you will need to go back and hit the switch again. So what I'm going to do is take the left one first here. Yeah, this is the Sagittarius 1 gate, or I gate, or whatever. So yeah, let's go this way now. Should take us to another waystone. And what the hell? Oh shit, where the hell did those guys come from? Are you serious? Damn. Yay for explosions. Ugh. Yeah, it's gonna explode again. Hurry up and kill him. God, that's annoying. Yeah, I'm surprised those guys weren't being bastards and doing that earlier, but whatever. Should've just ran from them. Well... Anyways... Yeah, hurry up with your buffs. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's touch this waystone here. This is waystone 11. And it should take us to waystone 12. Or something like that. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, never mind. Apparently this takes us to waystone 13. Well, yeah, let's try going this way first here. I think there might be some chests we can find. And this is the wrong way, so I'm going to skip it. Yep, went the wrong way, folks. We want to go this way first. Yeah, I might need some cure spells here. Yeah, there's a few chests we can find this way, I should say. 
And we're gonna run into some undead. Wow, those combo attacks would have been nice if you could actually hit the bastard. Jeez. Music in this place really is epic, man. Love the music in this place. Alright, we have a chest with a caliper. Yay. That's a measure type weapon. It's pretty worthless. For some reason those guys, I remember being a lot harder. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Alright, well anyways, yeah, let's keep going here. And we're gonna fight some more undead. And yeah, they like to put doom on your characters, which is annoying as hell. Finish off the one that's using Divide. Yeah, these things like to use an ability called Divide, which really sucks. You want to try and kill them before they do that. Unless you're really trying to tr chain these guys, but... Yeah, I just want to get through this area. I don't care about chaining them. Yeah, these are necrophobes too, by the way. I'm just gonna let Doom run its course and kill Ash because honestly, I don't have a character right now that can use a remedy and get rid of that anyway, so whatever. What is in this chest? Alright, we get the Staff of the Magi. The best staff in the game. And I think that's like a 25% spawn, but luckily I got it the first time. I didn't have to like exit and come back in or any of that kind of crap so that is definitely awesome let's take a look at the staff of the magi here now this staff actually uh it powers up a few elements i think it's uh well actually i can't remember one of them i definitely know that it powers up is holy so uh yeah that's definitely nice actually hold on a second okay the staff of the magi actually powers up ice wind and holy so yeah, if you have holy motes, uh, and you want to use them, obviously, uh, they are powered up with the Staff of the Magi, so yeah, that's definitely nice. Probably could have used the Staff of the Magi on Zodiac. Actually, I had white robes, so that powers up, uh, holy as well, but yeah, wasn't dealing enough damage for me, and only, yeah, the damage wasn't good, good enough, so yeah, that's why I used the, uh, the Reflect strategy on Zodiac, because, uh, well, that was better. Uh. And, yeah, Ash dies of doom. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, we got more freaking undead. I'm just gonna skip them. I don't care to fight them. Alright, now we are back at the Waystone, so, uh, yeah. I don't want to go back through the Waystone, though, right now, but whatever, uh, yeah, I'll pause real fast here. Alright, yeah, we're gonna head this way now. And fight some more undead. Yeah, those guys are mildly annoying, I must say. And, yeah. I'm, tempt I'm half tempted just to friggin' skip this crap. Anyways, uh, yeah, we want to... Kill this guy, I guess.
Uh, Gemini Gate Stone, yes, let's touch the device. And we have a timer. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go this way. And we got some new enemies here. We have Shadana, Shadanir, whatever. Okay, that's, that's the gate we came from, and that's the only way we can go. Okay, whatever. That wasn't too bad. Now, we should run into a fork in the road here. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this first gate here. This is gate Gemini 1. And go down this way. And we should find a chest. With a rubber suit. And this suit right here is actually pretty good. Yeah, it makes you immune to lightning. It's not as good as the brave suit, but hey, whatever. It's not bad at all. Uh, yeah, I'll clip it on both here, I guess. Why not? Now, what we need to do is we need to go all the way back to that Gemini switch and hit the switch again. Well, those guys were mildly annoying. But yeah, whatever. I'll meet you there. Alright, now that we are back at the Gemini gate activator thingy, whatever the hell, can I... God, what the fuck? Yeah, we want to activate the device here. Then we want to backtrack the way we came, because that's where the other one is. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Yeah, I don't care about the enemies there. They don't... They're not bothering us, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead keep going here. Now there's Gem Gemini Gate 1. We want to take this path now. I'm just going to bypass the enemies. And I guess we can fight these guys. Actually, you know what? Screw that. We're not going to... Fuck! Yeah, we want to uh, open this second Gemini gate here. And what is this? Okay, this is the Ash Worm. So yeah, that we might need to heal up before we go fight him now. Just a thought, you know. So yeah, let's do it, man. This guy looks like he might be kind of tough. Of course, I'll never know if Pinello doesn't start casting spells. Alright, we got the Ash Worm, man. Okay, we can win. Ringworm scales from that guy, okay. Alright, we are back at the Sagittarius gate. I actually backtrack here. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you backtrack to the Waystone 20, you should be able to find it very easily. And yeah, we're going to be taking the other gate this time. We should be taking the Sagittarius gate 2. So as you can see, when you hit the switch again, the other gate appears, but yeah, we want to hit this switch right here for the second gate so we can go to a different area. Because yeah, that area that I was exploring before, uh, it basically leads to an area I don't want to explore yet because there's items to be found if we touch this device here. Yeah, there must have been undead in this room or something because uh, yeah, my characters were trying to attack. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. That is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. This is Vettel121, and we'll continue exploring the Great Crystal in the next episode. See you next time.